right now. Yeah, so the Black Woman Inspire Tour is a multi-city tour where I'm going to different cities in the country um, to connect with black women business owners. So I'm going to nine different cities in the month of July. Keep in mind, she's this incredible <laughs> one-person team, right? <laughs> So just do you, just you in the car. <laughs> Me, the car, the airplanes. Oh, so you are from? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Detroit and Chicago this uh, year. Uh, Last year when I did it, I did it in two weeks, right? Um, I went to nine cities in two weeks. I was like Jesus. I remember Christ. that. I'm being very intentional this year. Last year it was literally like, hey, I'm gonna go on tour starting tomorrow, and I drove in my car from Atlanta. I drove all the way up to New York and just worked my way down. I was like, okay, well this is where I'll be next, and this is where I'll be next. Um, this year I'm being more intentional with it, like the dates. What the cities will be announced next week, so I want to do a week before. Okay. Um, so I'll be going to New Orleans, Detroit, Chicago, Brooklyn, Philly, D.C., Baltimore, Jersey, um, and Charlotte. Inspire Tour to go over our production layout for the stores and also um, for the marketplace we'll be doing when we kick off here in Atlanta. Those are our official Inspire Tour shirts of our locations. Um, h &O has been so generous to actually produce those and print them for us to give away to black women um, and those who are coming to our venues. So, Make sure you show up so the shirts are free. Like, I want black women to see themselves as like, oh, that's a black woman who has a business, who also, you know, is a mom and goes to work or stuff like that. So I want to make sure we're highlighting the black women business owners who are the everyday black women so, so they can see each other and see themselves in this event. Issues aside, this was a phenomenal call, so thank you guys. All right, thank you everyone. And Abby thank you. and Andrew, thank you. And we'll be talking thank soon you. to everyone. That's all I got. <laughs> so we're like three weeks out from the tour from the first event. And I don't know if I really know like how I'm feeling because I'm just so in it right now. It's a lot, but not like an overwhelming a lot. More like, wow. Everything we're doing is for black women. So it's hard not to be excited when it comes to black women. So we have our good friend, Oscar, professional driver to the stars and beyond. Amen. Hey. <laughs> He's going to help train me. So like in those cities that I'm not comfortable with, um, I can navigate a little bit better because, you know, insurance claims are real and I don't need, <laughs> I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
black women are here. Linnea Smith Crawford, I'm the owner of Seven Yoga, Kaleidoscope Family Therapy, and The Holistic MFT. Well, I am good friends with Nikki. I have uh, known her for a couple years now. So I found out about the tour um, right before she was getting ready to plan it, and I'm so excited about the tour. To me, it means inspiring other black women to know that there are business owners out there just like them, and if they're thinking about stepping out and creating their own space or their own product or their own business, that this is an organization that will help you get the tool and get you what you need to be a phenomenal black woman business owner. Enjoy the moment and enjoy the future. I'm so, so proud of you. Mm -hmm. So proud of you. Oh, yes. You are welcome. Thank you. That was well done. Oh, I needed that. Okay. That was wow. so good. H&M be part of this amazing event. We are so proud and so honored. It's a privilege for us to be part of the Buy From a Black Woman family. So first of all, thank you all so much for coming out for Black Women. People are buying from you. They are out here buying from Black Women. That's really what this is all about. I really appreciate all the Black Women showing up and being yourself. Those who are vendors, those who are consumers, being conscious consumers. Like, Black women are here. We got billboard. We got a band. <laughs> so often people do not see black women. We're out here working, busting our butts. Abby, the fact that you saw us and you're you're allowing this, I'm just I'm so grateful. I want to present you with something. <laughs> talk much often you know what I'm saying I'm not a braggadocious individual but every now and again I get my soldier boy on and I'm just saying I'm the first buy from a black woman grant recipient I'm the first I'm the first black woman that, the hand stitched jacket from Miss Adela do you understand hand stitched from Miss Adela do you know how old she is
involvement with Buy From A Black Woman over the past five years has meant having my very own cheerleader and a support system and like a newfound confidence in everything that I do as a black woman entrepreneur. But I don't really have any other thoughts except, you know, I just feel like we're showing up and black women are here. Black women keep me going, black women have my back, and it's my duty to be an advocate on their behalf. Now next up, the tour is headed to Chicago, Los Angeles, and New York, and they say they plan to keep doing this for years to come. In Georgetown, Amy Cho, News 4. because you want to use your gifts and talents to change the world. And I just want to say thank you so much. Like the fact that you all are here tonight, the fact that you started the business, the fact that you believe in the things that Buy For All Black Women is doing for Black Women means so, so much. We love you. What it do with Felicia Stokes of Luxurious Wellness. We are here in Orange, New Jersey for the Buy From Black Women Inspire Tour. I'm very excited. This is my first time. Me and Felicia, this is my first time going to her brick and mortar. She just opened it up this summer and I'm very, very excited to go and meet her. So let's go in. She's actually my first event in my store because we just opened last month. Now, really quick story about Dermalogica. I trained at the International Dermal Institute, and for those of you who are estheticians, you know how hard it is to get this account. So as a black woman, here to serve, make y'all glow. And here is where all the magic happens. Here, right here, see, come lay out on my bed. What do you want? A chemical pill, microderma, abrasion? What you want? What you want?
the most undescribable feeling. Um, I feel extremely proud. Just walking in and seeing them putting the Caitlyn and Ajua products on the shelves, um, it made me feel validated. It's been inspirational and it's, you know, sort of just reminded me to keep going. Hello, my name is Erica Banks and I am co-owner of Social 8 in Akron, Ohio. I've been a bartender on and off for seven years and um, I wanted something to call my own. So my business partner and I got together and we created Social 8. It's normally always predominantly male industries, especially in the uh, restaurant industry and food service. Um, but to be a double minority, being black and then being a woman on top of that, it means a lot. It's very insp inspirational. So now when I get down, I can think about this tour and keep going even further and inspire more people to do the same. Black women are here. <laughs> My name is Rodrika. And my name is Francina. And, and this, this is, is the Cochran House. One thing that we are proud of is the fact that when we opened to 2018, we got a lot of obstacles that had hit us. Previously with the city. I stuff. mean, first you think about 2020, COVID, everything was shut down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then at this time, we're still here. We had to develop the entire thing. So the de development of the project took about five years. Where the directory plays a big part for the Cochran House is exposing us to these other cities and other places and other other beautiful Black women that are excellent about to say. and doing the same thing. To you know, the tool of Black. <laughs> yeah, excellence. exactly. I mean, I think that that's kind of an honor in itself. Yeah, knowing that trying to push the envelope to you know get further than we ever could have gotten before, um, I think that's what inspires me too i think a lot of people when they hear black businesses they have a, a variety of thoughts in terms of how things are ran and one thing that i'm proud of and inspired by every day is that we always consistently get uh, positive feedback and that inspires us every day to make sure that we make every stay even better than the last person who came I'm just like in awe, I'm honored, like chilling with directory members is one of the things that I enjoy doing. Um, so the fact that I get to do that and support and eat some amazing stuff. Oh, and like just, black women are here. Yeah. Black women, black power. Yeah. Love it. The buy from black women. Inspired to us. I know. Across the country. Okay. <laughs> That's what's up. Love I it. love it.
I feel amazing. I'm excited to be here, black from a black woman. Black women are here. This is really cool, especially with the cards. They hard to find, you know, cards just for black women. together because of the segregation and decided to start one of the first black arts co arts arts collectives in um, in this building there was black sculptures here and he, these were African masks and African figures you can see where they were taken out all this was black all this was black decor there's no pictures online you might be maybe can find it at the historical society or find an old elder that's still alive it is be erasing black culture. Bro. Literally erasing it. That's why I had to take you here because there's no marker. No one has been really maintaining the building. Uh, the home is this building, but they bought the whole situation. Now I remember when there was houses over here, but this is uh, different than the empty blocks that you just passed by because this is owned by the state versus uh, the city still trying to redevelop the property in the neighborhood we just left. I became general manager, decided to add African American history to the script, and my CEO's first call to me was, what's all this black stuff? And I said, was there grease on the seat? You know, I'll take care of it, I'll send somebody a check. He said, no, I'm getting calls, I'm getting letters that people are too uncomfortable with the information. And I said, well, our history is often uncomfortable, but it exists and we need to share it. So it was being told that people wouldn't want it that made me really want to have it happen. And that's when I started my company in Philadelphia. I think it's just such a necessity. I was blessed to have parents who instilled that in me which is why the name of my company is A Tour of Possibilities, because they wanted me to know that because of all that we've been through, all things are in fact possible. And by knowing that and knowing who you are and knowing where you're going, because your ancestors did all this for you, to me, it's just an essential. And we've been so miseducated, not just as black folks, but as a country as a whole. And I just wanted to do my small part, if you will, on my platform to share as much information as I can you can do it the which you want. Black, Black women, women are here! here.
and because of my mother. And she told me, she said, you give your blood, sweat, and tears for everybody. It's time for you to do for you. And plus, I'll be able to leave a legacy. I have no children, but this will be left for someone. And it's just a necessity, as I said before. Black women are here. Bye from a black woman. I'm Sharon Owens. And I'm Janora Boykins with La Maison in Midtown, an urban bed and breakfast in Houston, Texas. Well, Sharon and I actually worked together for many years in corporate America. And as part of our friendship and watching each other work, we were talking about things that we could do in case we got cut from the team. You know, in corporate America, there's always downsizing and right sizing. And so, you know, we had been through so many of those changes and we really wanted to be in control of our future. After we um, acquired this property, we started talking about what could we do with it. We knew we wanted to be in Midtown because it was an area that was changing and developing. And so we were like, what about a bed and breakfast? So that's kind of how we came about it. I figured, Janora called a friend who lived in Europe and said, what's a good name for uh, a bed and breakfast? You know, what's, what's the European name for the house? You know, because that's really what we were talking about. And they said, you know, La Maison, the mansion, which is a lot of New Orleans style. And so we researched that name, which was taken, so that's why it's called La Maison in Midtown. And so that way you could have a European look or a more classier look, which is what we were aiming at. So that's sort of how we came up with, with the name. Yeah, I think La Maison had a nice ring to it, La Maison in Midtown. That helped us to identify with the area that we were located in. And uh, because Midtown, like I said, when we first started was really just transforming. And so we wanted to be a part of that transformation. And so the look and feel of the building, we wanted to fit in. We didn't want to stick out like a sore thumb in Midtown. So that's why we have the brick and the wrought iron. It has more of a European kind of New Orleans type feel. And so uh, when we had someone that helped us to design our logo, it was a take on the fleur de lis. So that just all helped to just support the thought that we would have something that would be very uh, traditional in certain regards, but still have that homey and contemporary feel to it because it would be new as opposed to an old mansion or old house that we've restored or something like that. So, What inspires me is just to waking up each day and being able to remember my name, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and these days and times that's important. Yeah, I, I think the thing that inspires me the most is really making a difference in the lives of others. That's always been something that I saw my parents do. When I was growing up, we always had people coming to live with us. They might be family, they might not be. They were just people who needed a helping hand or needed a, some kind of assistance. And I always saw my parents do that. So really, I thought that's how everybody lived their lives. I thought everybody did those kind of things. But for me, uh, this is a way where I can impact somebody's life. Uh, and hopefully in a positive way, uh, just by giving them a little escape in the city, as we call it, as our tagline, that you're escaping the city. And so that's really what motivates me, is just when we read the reviews or we read our comment book and you see how you've really impacted someone's life, it just really makes me feel good. So that's what inspires me. Buy from, from a black, black woman. woman. And black, black women, women are, are here. here. Can, can I cancel it, right? Yeah, go ahead. Can and I cancel, cancel it? Yeah, you, you can take a picture here and then you can tell the, the, the Uber that uh, my guy had a problem. Mm -hmm. And it stopped right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure did. Yeah. Are they coming? Mm -hmm. Are they coming? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for the uh. Uh, Hello, uh, my name is Anton. I, I have a problem with my guy. 
Well, the only time this has happened with Uber is it was in Atlanta, and he put me and a friend on the side of the road, on the road off of Cascade Ave because he had no air and no gas. Buy from a black woman. Black women are here. Perfect. It inspired me losing my mom to do something better for our community, for our black men, black women, health, and, and do something more responsible. So I guess uh, inspiration would be quality of health, quality of life, and just communal learning and healing. In addition to being nonstop fun, because I think um, there's so many different types of people that are in the directory. Not only do I get a chance to learn about different products from different people and different things, I actually get to make friends, which is kind of a cool side effect of it because in the directory, you can go by state and things like that. So what will happen is I'll get people visiting Vegas who have looked through the directory and they'll come visit me through that. And sometimes it's not even for products or anything, it's just for like friendship and, you know, networking stuff. So I, I don't know, I can't even express how much like fun and exposure and business networking opportunities I've gotten through Buy From A Black Woman. It's been absolutely amazing. I made a, um, a lemon pepper kind of a mix. Uh, I made a garlic uh, kind of a rub for the beef. And then I made a seafood um, mix also for my seafood. I'm excited. I'm gonna make my daughter cook something with it. <laughs> Hey, my name is E. Carice, and I'm the owner of Hot7025FM.com. <laughs> the Black Woman Inspired Tour. Um, I think that it's, it's an inspiration. I think, uh, you know, I think acknowledgement is important um, because we can, we can be black business owners and we can have platforms and, you know, we can have some retail stores and we have a restaurant, so on and so forth. Um, but knowing that on a global aspect, people can click on someone else that you don't even know, a, strange, a complete stranger's uh, social media page or website, so on and so forth, and have the opportunity to be seen by someone who never would have seen you before, I think that is valuable. And black women are here.
know, I appreciate you so much, though. Like, I always just talk about you. I was just talking, because Renee was like, oh, I just signed up for Black and Black Woman, and I'm like, and she, they're like, Nikki just seems so great. And I'm like, Nikki got me an H&M, guys, <laughs> out of the charity of her heart, because she just loves Black Women. Like, you don't even know how much I appreciate you so much, for real, for real, though. <laughs> from a black woman, black women are here. Yep, love it. <laughs> this is great. Yeah, I love that. Come on. In order to be supported, we have to be supportive of our strong black women. Congratulations, ladies. Keep on doing a great job. Um, first of all, thank you all so much. Like, you guys talk about having your hair brain ideas and the fact that, you know, you all believe in something that was a hair brain idea that I created in the corner of my living room um, just because I didn't like the fact that I was the only person somewhere. And as business owners, you know, like, you never know if somebody's going to actually believe in what 
what you're doing because you're like, this is stupid, this is silly, I'm going to keep it a secret. But you all have so much courage and motivation, and that inspires me. And that's why it's called The Bible of Black Women Inspires For, because black women inspire me so much. And there is no way that Black and Black would be anything if it wasn't for Black women like you going out with the courage and the motivation and the leap of faith and just knowing that you had the capacity to do the things that you're doing. I always say, like, Black women just need space to try. Yes, yes, ma'am. If we just had the space just to make mistakes or just see if these things that we want to do could be something, even if it's nothing, just being allowed time and energy and money and resources just to try, you would just be amazing. And I'm so grateful that the creator picked me to be the person to help you all try. I can never say thank you enough. I can never tell you all how grateful I am that you all decided that you're going to try. And I just get to tell people about the things that you want to try. It's such an honor to be able to create spaces and allow people who have tools and resources who really want to do the right thing to bring you into spaces where you never thought you would see yourself. Watching you all walk into these stores and seeing your stuff on the shelf and repeatedly you all said, it looks like my stuff is supposed to be here. And it's because you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be on those shelves. People are supposed to just break their necks to support black women. Thank you is not a big enough word. But thank you. Thank so, you. not to Nikki, to black women. To black women.